Hey Shooters, this is Todd Woodard, editor of Gun Test Magazine. In the September 2014 issue, we tested two Buntline style long barrel revolvers. They were the Ruger New Model Single Six Convertible and the Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider Combo. Ned Buntline, from whom the revolver gets its name, was a dime novelist who penned western sagas about cowboys, outlaws, and other gunfighters. The Heritage Manufacturing Rough Rider and Ruger's new model single six convertible are scaled down bunt lines with nine inch barrels. The Ruger actually has a 9.5 inch barrel. Both revolvers were blued, single action and came with two cylinders, one for 22 long rifle and one for 22 Winchester Magnum rimfire. The Ruger sported a well executed blue finish with a hammer and trigger that were both in the white. The grips were black plastic. It was a sharp looking revolver. The new model single six convertible felt more substantial in our hand and it filled our hand better than the heritage, our testers said. The hammer was serrated and gave the cocking thumb a good grip. The trigger was wider than on the heritage and had a comfortable curve. There's no need to rest the hammer on an empty chamber because the new model single six has a transfer bar built in that avoids accidental discharge if the revolver is dropped with a round under the hammer. Swapping cylinders required the user to open the loading gate, press the base pin button, and pull the base pin free of the frame. The cylinder would then drop out of the right side of the revolver. This operation had no hitches and was fast and easy to execute. Our shooter said they would like Ruger to install a reverse indexing pole like in the new model Vaquero to make loading easier. Otherwise, they said buy it. To read more brutal head-to-head -head testing and honest grading that's not influenced by advertising dollars, get a digital subscription to Gun Test Magazine today.